Well, I have to explain. Yeah, and a couple of vlogs ago, when the trailer came out, and what happened was I wasn't interested in it at all. And still today, I, I still am with my opinion, and I'm still entitled to my opinion. Yeah, this is Derek Yosh, and today I'm going to tell you how I feel about the Guardians of the Galaxy. What could I fucking say? It's another Avengers clone ripoff. I mean, the characters don't look interesting at all. The story is just, like, there. Just, like... Okay, I've seen this done before, but in Avengers. And let me tell you something right now. Uh, the Avengers does a better job at, at uh, telling the story other than uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, honestly. And what I got from the trailer is it's just going to be a generic movie with generic action scenes and generic characters, uh, lifeless characters. There's really nothing to them. Uh... It looks too corny to fucking begin with, really. Like, what is so interesting about it? Could somebody tell me down there in the comments? Please. And don't say Rocket Raccoon, please. Do not say Rocket Raccoon, because everybody's got to jump on Rocket Raccoon's dick. Yeah, they, they just got to jump on it for some odd reason. Um... I mean, that guy, that guy doesn't look interesting. The alien chick doesn't even look interesting at all. Um, if you ask me, um, I would probably say that this is going to be uh, not that great of a film. It's going to probably be mediocre at best. But it's like you don't have an interesting story. You don't have interesting characters. I mean, really, there's nothing interesting about it. Even when the first trailer came out, I wasn't interested in it, honestly. But that's just me. I'm just being honest with you and telling you the truth how I feel towards this movie. And how I feel about it, buying a Subway sandwich for $10, uh, combo uh, I guess um, cookies and two drinks or just one drink yeah that that comes up to nine dollars if you get a uh, different bread but still I'll rather go and spend that ten dollars towards that than this movie because let's just face it I mean it's the same superhero stuff we had before. I mean, look, okay, uh, next year, Batman vs. Superman is supposed to come out, and pretty much it's gonna be tiresome to see plenty of superhero movies like that team up. Where it's like, where they team up and then they gotta save the day and stuff like that. Ugh. I don't care what anybody says. Just say it. Go ahead. But um, honestly, what, what I could say to that is it's your opinion. You're entitled to it. If you're really looking forward to the movie, hey, it's your cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Um, and no, it's not because I don't want to support the movie. It's because... It's predictable. It's predictable how it's going to be. Everybody's going to love it because it's overrated as fuck. When everyone else is just like, either they're going to hate it, or they found the film to be okay, honestly. Other than the fact that you got CGI explosions and 
I guess, useless fights that we've already seen a million times and other a billion better movies than what this movie is. Because it looks like it's going to be decent or it's going to suck ass. To me, anyways. I get paid um, tomorrow. And what I could tell you is I'm not going to spend anything towards this movie. I'm not going to give this movie a chance because I already know how it's going to fucking play out. And it's not going to play out really good for me. So what's the use of wasting my money if I'm not going to even like it at all, people? Yeah. I look more forward to the old classics. Yeah. I don't look forward to new movies. I'm sorry, only some new movies. Like, the last new movie that's going to come out on August 15th is going to be The Expendables 3. That's my anticipated movie of the year. And I'm going into that film with low expectations, but let me just get back to the Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, what more do I have to say? I believe that the film is not going to be that great as people think it's going to be. It's just going to be a mediocre superhero action movie. That uh, the plot is really not, not all there. It's a little bit there. But um, there's just so many different subplots and plots. Yeah, we've seen this done a million times before. And better other superhero movies where superheroes team up. I'm just not... I'm sorry. I'm not interested in it. And... It's just like the same old action scenes. If I wanted to go see good action scenes, I'll go watch Commando. I'll go watch anything. Really. Because these action scenes are just going to be mediocre. Uh, there's going to probably be a little bit of shaky cam too, like there always is in these fucking movies. I mean, cow damn, man. Really. Really. I'm not trying to bash on movies or anything. On newer films. I'm just giving my honest opinion on how I really feel about this film. Either it might be successful or it might flop. One of the two. Or it might be successful, and what do you fucking know? It's another piece of shit superhero movie. Yeah, I did not really care for the Avengers that much. Okay. Deal with it. Fucking deal with it. Getting back to the Guardians. I mean... It's putting me to sleep right now. I don't really want to fucking talk about it. I mean, shit. I could find a lot better things to do. Well, I could go and watch the first 75 episodes of Marchants. Or watch Bram Stoker's Dracula again. Hell, I could uh, go and play... The original Xbox, or PS2, or Super Nintendo, or the Sega Genesis, or I could do anything. I could uh, go and get excited over a woman, and that's more exciting than this movie. Yeah. Because the movie is just going to be lackluster, mediocre, probably boring. And I would probably do a rant on it as well if I did see the movie, but I'm not going to. I will never watch the movie. 
something just telling me that it's bad and it's god awful and it's a waste of my time and money. I'm sorry about that. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, I mean, if you want to go see the movie, honestly, I'm not stopping you. Go right ahead, but you probably might regret it. You probably won't regret it. You'll probably think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. But then again, um, you might come back here and say, Man, why the fuck were you talking shit about this movie? It's one of the greatest movies ever made. It's a lot better than all the superhero movies. And I'm like, okay, really? Is it a lot better than the original Batman? No, is it a lot better than uh, the original X-Men? Fuck no. Is it better than any other superhero movie? No. It will never be better because it will always be the mediocre 50-50 uh, movie. That's what it's going to be. I'm sorry, people. Really. And you got John C. Riley in this film. He's probably only going to be there for like 5 or 10 minutes. He's not going to be through the whole movie. Maybe even less than that. Really. I'm just saying, I'm sick and tired of it. I've been complaining on so many videos. I don't give a shit. I could talk about it how much I want. But, to be honest with you, seeing a movie coming out like this, Bound to be soon. Uh, the movie theaters dying because how terrible their films are and how they're doing. I mean, really. The theater will die out. And you will say, Derek? Wow. You are right, man. You are right because movies, just like The Guardians. We're just like 50-50, a little bit of okay and epic fail at the same time. And you will not be satisfied, really, when you, you're going to go watch the movie. You're not going to be satisfied. It's only for a certain audience. And that certain audience is... that certain audience and in other words it's like don't go to the movie if you feel that you're not going to like it because then it's just going to be a waste of money and a waste of your time and you're going to regret it and probably wanting to do a rant on here about the guardians anyways guys I am out. Peace.